Welcome to Glasgow, Scotland's largest city and commercial capital, home to nearly 600,000 residents, including my TV character, Shell Suit Bob, and generating almost 350,000 tonnes of waste resources every year. But waste is changing, and I'm about to find out how. Glasgow's history has always been one of vision and evolution. From city leaders delivering pure, soft water, the installation of Glasgow's Clockwork Orange Underground, to the regeneration of the Clyde. And that journey continues today, with big plans in leading Scotland in transforming waste, confirming Glasgow's position at the forefront of European cities. Traditionally, across the country, waste was safely disposed of in landfill sites like Cathkin, where Glasgow's waste that isn't currently recycled ends up. But all of that has to change, and soon. Scotland's ambitious zero waste plan means that by 2025, 70% of the waste you and I produce will be recycled. And some 95% will be diverted away from landfill sites like Cathkin. Waste is changing and is increasingly being transformed into resources for us all. Viridor is proud to be working in partnership with Glasgow City Council to deliver next generation green infrastructure to better manage the city's green bin residual waste, which is not currently recycled and would until now have gone to landfill. At the heart of Glasgow's vision for a sustainable city is Viridor's £150 million Glasgow Recycling and Renewable Energy Centre at Paul Medy. Regenerating the Council's long-established waste management facility is part of ambitious plans for the Clyde Gateway. The facility will release potential from Glasgow's green waste bins in tandem with that provided through purple bin and blue bin recycling. Using advanced European technologies, the centre will safely transform 200,000 tonnes of green bin domestic waste each year with enhanced recycling and enough renewable energy to power 20,000 households and heat 8,000 homes. It will save Glasgow a staggering £254 million over the 25-year contract, create 250 new jobs, including 25 apprenticeships, creating opportunities for local businesses and social enterprise. So, it's not only Glasgow's waste that's about to get transformed. The council site at Paul Medy is about to get a makeover as well. That role is set to continue with modern advanced technology being sensitively located on this strategic site. A site with an industrial history but equipped with brilliant new transport links thanks to the newly completed M74 extension, making the location easily accessible from all areas of the city. So the site will be top notch, but what exactly will it do? The fundamentals of Viridor's Glasgow Recycling and Renewable Energy Centre, using proven, safe and reliable advanced technologies, follows a simple three-step process. Glasgow City Council vehicles deliver domestic green bin waste to the site's fully enclosed reception hall, incorporating the latest noise and odour control mechanisms. Boosting recycling from green bin waste is the first job of the facility and this happens in the state-of-the-art Smart Materials Recycling Facility. The Smart MRF releases the waste resources from green bin waste, separating the waste to recover anything that can be recycled. Next, the facility tackles the food and organic waste that you and I produce removing it from the waste stream for conversion into green energy through a process of anaerobic digestion which breaks down items just like in your stomach. Finally, diverting from landfill what can't be recycled, the advanced conversion facility generates renewable power for local use by heating and producing a synthetic gas which is controlled to generate renewable energy and saving Glasgow 28,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide each year. Getting Glasgow's waste sorted is great, but Viridor are about more than just that. Working with the City Council, Viridor will be bringing forward plans for an ambitious package of community benefits, delivering a lasting legacy for the city and people like you and me. Viridor is fully committed to ensure that local stakeholders, communities and residents are kept fully informed of our plans with a series of opportunities for you to learn more and have your say. 
What's more, we're fully committed to delivering a range of legacy benefits to the local community, the city and its people. So whether you are interested in a professional career in one of Europe's most exciting green industries or apprenticeship, skilled or placement opportunities with Viridor, its construction contractor or subcontractors, the Viridor Glasgow website should be your first port of call. The project will deliver a broad range of opportunities to small businesses and social enterprises as direct services to Viridor over the 25-year contract period and also for our contractors and subcontractors during development. Viridor will run a series of events and further information will be available on the project website. Viridor recognises the importance of environmental education and has a strong track record of working with Glasgow's universities, colleges, schools and communities. So, together, Viridor and Glasgow City Council are working to get your way sorted, delivering next generation green infrastructure to bring zero waste policy into practice. The proposal builds upon existing blue, purple and brown bin recycling to liberate materials from black bag waste that until now would otherwise have gone to landfill, creating renewable energy in a closed loop integrated solution, reducing transportation movements and costs. Viridor wants to know your views about this project. Get in touch through the website, through Twitter or call 0141 301 1212. So the case is crystal clear. Scotland needs to change how it handles its waste, but Glasgow is miles ahead of the game. And as Cabinet Secretary Richard Lockhead said, companies such as Viridor are giving us the means to achieve these targets. Now we must step up to the mark and make it happen. There's a guy who knows what he's talking about.